So in the last episode, we were able to connect our application to MongoDB Atlas. And in this episode, I want us to talk about Mongoose schemas and Mongoose models. Now to create our first model, we'll come to the root of the application and add a new folder called models. And we will start by creating a todos model. Inside this folder, I'll create a new file called todo.js. Now to create a mongoose model, we'll first have to define a mongoose schema. And a schema basically defines the structure of our documents. So in MongoDB, instead of having tables and rows, we usually have collections and documents. So let's first create our to-do schema and you'll see uh, why we need a to-do schema and how it is useful. So the first thing we will do is to import the mongoose module in this file. So right here, I'll say const mongoose will be equal to require in brackets mongoose and with this we'll now be able to create a mongoose schema right here i'll first uh, define a constant to do schema and this will be basically an object because we'll be creating it from a schema class which is attached to the mongoose object so right here we'll say new mongoose dot schema and in here we will add an object and this object have properties of our document so if we want a to do to have an other this is where we will add that property and add its type okay so right here we can add a name for our to do and you can set the name to be of type string but because we will be needing uh, to define different options for our name what i'll do is that i remove this string and add an object so right here we can have multiple options the first one is type to be string a comma and you can make this to be required so what you do is to just say required to be true and this will act like a validation so when you submit an empty form where we don't have a name you'll get an error okay and then right here we can set a minimum length so we just say min length to be of three and also you can set a max length if you want so uh, i expect our to do to be short ones so right here i can set a max uh, length to be of 200 characters so this is how we simply create a mongoose schema it's an object coming from this schema class and we have properties we can define properties for our schema so this is a to-do schema so when we submit a to-do from a form it must have a name and we can add as many properties as we want so the other property that we want for our to-do is the other and this can be of type string and then we want to have a uid which is the user id to be also of type string we want to know whether a to do is complete or not so we can add is complete and this is a boolean so it should be either true or false when you submit a string to this one you will get an error and then finally we want to have a date of when our to do was created so date we can have a uh, multiple options here the type will be date and we can set a default value for our date so default 
to be new date and we invoke that function so if we don't submit a date it will automatically create a default date for us so this is now our to do schema and you can see that it is simply defining the structure of our document which we will be storing in mongodb now the next step that i want us to take is to create a mongoose model now what is a mongoose model a model helps us to directly interact with the database and to create a mongoose model we will need to use this schema so right here uh, i will create a new constant and i'll call it to do the reason that i am using a capital letter here is because this to do is a class and by convention classes starts with a, a capital letter and then right here we'll set it to be equal to mongoose dot model and then inside here is the name of our collection in singular form so we want the name of our collection to be to do so right here i'll set the name to be to do and then the second parameter for this one is our to do schema so now the only thing that remains for us to do is to export this to do model so right here i can say exports dot to do to be equal to to do and by exporting this to do we can be able to use it on any other file where we will import it and we will be using it on our to do's route so in the next video we will see how we will use this to do model to create documents to mongodb